Anyway, like I say, the Bismarck was like was like a third of my wealth. The hull was so thick. The the amount of steel that it took to build it was so much that that um, that it it actually it actually used uh, it actually appreciably d diminished my my wealth by about a third or something like that. It was a third of my wealth, and I built three of them. But those three ships could go anywhere. Like I said, they put a nuke underneath one of those ships one time. And it just moved the ship like 36 feet. It went boom. They closed the hatches. Like I said, they they they, they talk about it, and they and they and, and the British people are like, "Well, we put an explosive underneath the ship," and and they and they and and the commander said, "Well, there's no time to move the ship. They're trying to move it, but 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 they just hit the alarm, and it just closed all the hatches." And the explosive, it was like a hundred. It was a thousand. It was basically the equivalent of a one megaton nuclear bomb. Uh, uh, directly underneath the ship, or uh, underneath the ship somewhere near the bottom, or they, they they placed it and it would just like hang to the bottom or something, or like it was underneath the ship. People people who found out about what they did were like, oh my god. It's like yeah, they put a nuke underneath the ship. That was actually a nuclear bomb, or like a thousand pounds. It was the most amount of explosive that that that, that had ever been detonated underneath the ship, and they detonated it directly underneath the ship, and it moved the ship thirty six feet. It did dent the hull quite substantially, and the ship had and the ship started taking on water, but it did not compromise the ship, and everybody lived inside of it. They they posted a thing saying that every everybody had died, but nobody died. The explosion literally just went around the hull, held. So, anyway, everybody lived because the compartments shut shut closed, and basically the ship, the Bismarck was like a was like a giant submarine compartmentalized the thin walls but, but i mean you're you're not going to get an appreciable amount of amount, amount of pressure when it's on the inside it was a solid hull so anyway i don't you know a bunch of people that like, were trying to lie about things they stripped down the bismarck they took all the silver off of it and and, and all the and all the brass and they stripped it down they tried to even move it you know they, they they took the cannons off and melted down made cars out of them Did not have a glorious end, but it was unsinkable. They couldn't penetrate the hull. It was just too damn thick, they should say. It had like a, um, like a, uh, what's it called? You had to use L LS, LS shells, and they didn't have LS, LS shells back then. You know, which is actually a thermal, a thermal uh, nuclear explosion, a reactor, basically, in midair. They didn't have it back then. Even a copper jet couldn't couldn't touch the hall. Anyway, whatever. Anyway, though, but I was epically right about my Bismarck. You know, it was a third of my wealth in a ship, but it could, it rammed, it went through, it went through blockades. It went through other ships. There were times when, when, when I used it and, and other people were like, you know, I mean, they, it, it was epic. It was unsinkable and untouchable. You could, you could set off a nuke right next to it and it would just roll the ship over maybe at, at best. If it affected it at all, it was so fucking heavy. Like I say, it, it weighed like a couple million pounds or something like that. Or like 1.5 million pounds or something like that. It was a really heavy ship. But once it got moving, it cut through the water like, like, a, knife, like a hot knife through butter. It could take 90, 90 foot swells like it was nothing. Like it would just go... <laughs> like they clocked it at 120 miles an hour one time. Actual 120 miles an hour. Verified. It was fast, ridiculously fast. I think they might have said it might have gone 150, but I don't. I didn't believe him. I don't know. He was really fast. A really good ship. Really, really good ship. One of my favorites. So anyway, I wanted to keep one around for me, but they have. Been, I mean, yeah, you know, you could do more with the steel. So anyway, like I said, it sank to the bottom, and and, and they said, "Oh, it broke up," and it didn't break up. He just went, boom, and it went, and caused an undersea avalanche. Anyway, they talked shit about all kinds of stuff, and and even the one that's down there, you know, they they looked at it, and and, and people saw the building plans for the for for, for the uh, for the Bismarck, twelve inch hull, uh, seven inches or eight inches hull on top, you know, it didn't need a frame. Most ships have frames and all that other stuff. It didn't need a frame. The hull was the frame. Anyway. 
like I said, they used giant pincers to just pinch the hull closed at the front and at the back. Just gi <laughs> giant steam rounds just went, just went. You know, they, they, it was it was rolled. At, you know, they, there's a video of it being of it, of it being milled. Actually, you know, they they see it. Great big four, great big huge huge things on either side, just basically poured into a sheet, and then a roller squished down the steel, and then it was just laid down one big huge. 200 foot wide sheet of steel or something like that you know like 15 inches thick or something like that one sheet you know you had to pour it and roll it all at the same time so these things would just pour continuously one after another you know just in and they poured it all at one time and and they were all on track so you could just move the things around i think it was ridiculous you know i forget the video but but there's a video of film of it and then at the front, they just went, when, when they, as it was rolling out on the street, they went and pinched it. And then pinched, pinch, 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 pinch. This is a great big hole. You know, and then basically they, they laid the lid on top. Dum. That was it. That was all there was to the Bismarck. You know, and, and, uh, and, it, would, and it basically hot seamed together. Or not even hot seamed, it was just kind of like. And then they just attached it and welded it or, or pinned it or something. I think they used pins or something. I forget how they did it. <laughs> it's one, whoa. One single pour. Giant mammoth single pour. They took down the factory after they built them. They built like four or three or something like that. They were, they were outrageously heavy. But man, they were cool. They couldn't even cut them practically. Like they, they, they had a heck of a time punching the, the, the what's called through. The, 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 the things through. Anyway, it was really cool. Really cool construction. And hey, whatever, it's long since over with. So anyway though, but like I said, they clocked it at 150 miles an hour. Through the water. Fastest ship ever. A race ship. Didn't turn worth it worth it worth a shit though. <laughs> they had to put a bigger bigger rudder on. They put one rudder on and it was way too small. So they put a bigger one. <laughs> and then finally it would kind of turn. Anyway, I don't know. Later on, they might have used steam shunting for and put put some holes in it for for the for the for the for the thrusters and stuff like that. It was a really good ship. It was it stayed around forever. It was around for like five hundred for like two hundred fifty years or something like that. It never died. <laughs> it never died. Anyway, people would shoot cannons at it or shoot at it. it didn't matter. It didn't care. Fifteen inch tall or twelve inch tall. It was thick. It was really thick. Anyway, people have, have seen the building plans for the Bismarck, and they're like, nah, we haven't seen anything like that underneath the water. Like, that's not down there. Or, you know, like I said, w w w if you see a hull like yay thick, that's the Bismarck. Yeah, that's one of the Bismarcks. It had a ridiculously thick hull. So, and it, it could attain speeds of 150 miles an hour. 150 knots, no, sorry, 150 knots. It's like 200 miles an hour on the water. Other people would say it's like 200 miles an hour on the water. Yeah, something like that. I mean, it's all it's all on record. It's all history. It was you know I was I was I was mega right. I invested a third of my wealth into that ship, into those ships, and they lasted for a long. People grew up and died. It was it was they they used to call them generation ships because you know, like three or five five generations would would serve on them. They never wore out. You know, you just replaced the parts. You know, they were coal fired and. Just upgraded the boilers, and it was the hull that never died. <laughs> it was so thick, you know. It took, you know, and 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 the salt water didn't affect it at all. It was the right kind of steel, where where the salt wouldn't eat it. You know, it just, it was fine. Barnacles would, go, but nothing much. It didn't rust. It would last 150 years, thousand. It would, you know, last 1,500 years underwater. Completely encased in salt, it would last 1,500 years. So, anyway, never dented, never anything. They they, they, they used to ram icebergs and go, oh, you didn't see that one, did you? No, no, we saw it. We just didn't care. <laughs> we couldn't stop in time. You know, the ship would just move out of the way. or the. Or <laughs> they used to laugh and used to say, well, the iceberg actually moved out of our way. <laughs> It was it was hilarious actually because it was so thick and so much steel. <laughs>